Welcome back. And last time we already um, um, we already um, um, guided you to um, how to code the basic graphical user interface into Android um, using pure Java code or using XML. Please watch my previous videos about um, how to create the graphical user interface. And today I'm going to show mainly about um, um, I'm going to show mainly about how to say. Uh, mainly about um, Android um, event and event e event and event handling inside um, Android. So what is event and event handling? Let's say if you have a button, if you have a button and if we click on that button, okay, uh, if we click on that button, uh, the um, button itself is not going to process the event of clicking, but its job is only to raise an event about that. Some users click. And um, um, our job is of the developer is actually we need to build what is called the action listener, okay? Action listener. So um, this action listener is is need to register to listen for the action of the button, okay? Need to register to listen for action of the button, and then when user click on the button. The button itself is um, um, just like um, a speaker. It's gonna um, broadcast. Uh, it's gonna um, announce that, okay, my button is click. 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 And this action listener already registered to listen for that action of the button. It's going to be raised and it's going to do something. Okay, it's going to do something. Do something. Okay. It's gonna do something, or it's gonna perform some action, perform some action, okay? Or actually, it's gonna call to me to, to do something here, okay? Perform some action, or it's called to me to or um, do something over here. And that one is about the um, event and event handler in mechanism inside um, 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 Android. Inside Android, there are many uh, kinds of events and event handler built in for your views. And we're going to build a quick application to demonstrate about basic um, 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 mechanism of event handler. So we're going to build this Android activity. Inside this Android activity, we're going to um, build a simple um, 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 layout, which is our relative layout. And this relative layout doesn't have the visibility component. So I'm going to just um, um, create some dash for this one. Okay. So this one create some dash for this, but we need to know that there is an IT, a relative layer of six Java object over there. Then um, um, uh, I will create a button and place it to the center. If you don't know how, please watch my previous video. Give it an ID. Um, place a text here. Uh, place it above the button. Give it an ID, um, um, and we're going to place a um, um, text view here with which with the text is welcome message. Okay, place it here below the button, and this button is press me, okay, and we're going to provide um, this with txt name, okay, this one with txt name as an ID for it. Uh, this one is button press me with the ID for this, and this one is sir uh, by um, um, take view um, welcome message for it. Uh, welcome message for the this one. This welcome message for this. Okay, uh, this text view is they are IDs of this one is ID of this, this one is ID of this, and this one is ID of this. Okay, then um, um, we're gonna use this graphical user interface using XML layout file. Okay, XML layout file inside the XML layout file. We're going to specify the um, 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 relative layout. XML, you're gonna specify the relative layout. XML, and you're gonna specify XML for the um, 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 button, okay, um, for the edit text, for the um, 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 text views, with its own properties and its layout parameters. Then later on, when you compile, when you compile, the application is going to generate the corresponding objects and create the and we're application and we're activity like this. So we're going to create that graphical user interface. Get back to Android. We're gonna create a new. This one is an event um, handling. 
okay basic event handling into android so uh, next we're going to choose this information next add a blank activity next and this one is uh, just choose the main activity okay this one is our layout file this one is a title for the main activity okay we click on finish you can watch my uh, previous video about what this XML file is and how does how do they generate the objects here okay how to change the layout properties using a designer or using XML coding okay then uh, we're going to look at the designer okay click on this one click on this one and we're going to design the um, application quickly once again if you don't know how to design please watch my previous video okay and you can drag in a button and place it to the center horizontally and center vertically okay then we're gonna click on this one change this one into press me okay this one is uh, btn press me okay you can change the internationalization if you like to uh, what is this one please watch my previous video okay so this one is here already then we're going to drag in a text here okay this one is a text here okay it's on left uh, and above this one and i'll click on this one to make it grab content okay double click on this one and name this one as tx sorry um no text for it name this one as txt name okay enter and we're going to create a text view a text view or a plain text here which is a text view gonna place it on the left and above um, below this button okay and we're going to zoom this one up a little bit okay then we're gonna double click on this one this one gonna change the welcome message and this one I'll name it as text view welcome message um, um, I'm doing this pretty um, quickly Okay, because um, I have taught you this one already, and my main purpose is for events and event handling. And there are two main ways of um, um, creating um, 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 handling events um, for uh, this kind of graphical interface. So if you click on this button once more, if you click on this button, it's going to raise an event. You need to um, create an accent listener and listen for that accent and do something. And there are two ways to create this accent listener. Okay. Um, explicitly or implicitly or using ja pure java code or um, um, using the designer to um, wire the listener so we're going to use the first approach which is to create the listener accent listener purely uh, from java code so and register it so we're going to get back to our main activity um, on create methods okay and um, before that we need to explain this one as well even though you create XML file to access to this one and you give it an ID using XML file, but when you compile, when you compile the XML file, they're going to generate Java object, okay, Java object for this one. And inside your code, you would like to access to the Java objects of this text field, okay, of this text field, and let's say you want to access to this txt name as a Java object, okay, Java object of type, of type. Um, um, edit text once more you created them you created it as as button as XML but when you compare it they're going to generate up um, 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 Java object for you and you would like to accept to that Java object why do you would like to accept the Java, Java object because you would like to get text from here okay and you need to use it ID given before and you're going to use the method which is find view by ID Okay, method in order to access to that Java object. Okay, so on so forth. So we're gonna use this code. We're gonna use this code. So um, this is a uh, um, edit text. Sorry, we would like to access in this case. I would like to access to the button press me first. So similar concept. Um, button uh, bt and press me equal to. Um, we're going to use the method find view by id. Okay. And this method is provided by this activity and it's gonna help you to return a view. Okay, return a view. Um, remember it's return a view, but you need a button. Okay, and you know that your view is a button, so you can catch it this way. It is button. Okay, then continue find view by ID. 
and the ID that you set before inside here let's say you double click and you set this ID okay uh, gonna be compiled inside our resource object and you take resource object dot okay dot ID dot uh, the uh, button press me so this one is a way very important line of code you can access to the um, um, object that you generated using um, XML inside uh, as a Java object using um, find view by ID method giving its ID resource okay once more this is just an ID and this one is a real Java object okay then you're going to create an action listener and um, 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 and um, assign it to um, and register it um, um, to the button. So you can take button press me dot um, set on click listener. There are, there are many there are many um, um, action listener types, but we want to show the simple one, uh, first simple one, which is the on click, which is when the user click on the button. Okay, and when user click, we're going to create. When user click, we're going to create an action listener object here. So we're going to create new on click listener from the Android view view there. Then um, um, when um, this um, action listener listen for that event, it's going to do something, uh, uh, which is it's going to call into the um, callback method, which is called on click. Um, when it's on click, we're going to um, access to the edit. So you already understood this line of code. So I want to use the same line of code to access to the edit text. So we're going to have edit text, control space, select it. TXT name equal to, um, we know it's edit text. We do the casting. So um, find view by ID, well, we are dot ID dot um, um, text, um, TXT name. So you could access to that edit text field, to this edit text field. You get the name out. Okay, you got the name out. You got the name out, so you're gonna have string name equal to txt name dot get text. Okay, and and remember the text get text return you an editable, and you need a string, so you're gonna do two string conversion. Two string conversion. So you have the name. Okay, so you have the name. When you have the name already, okay you're going to um, access to this label and set a welcome message to it so in order to access to the label you're going to have this is a text view okay um, text view um, um, text view text view text view text view what now text view welcome message equal to text view okay text view enter then find view by id r dot id dot um, 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 text view welcome message then you set the message so you would have text view okay dot um, set text which is welcome to okay plus name plus um, 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 anyone can code android tutorial or series okay. Okay. so um, this one is again you created the um, action listener and you register it to listen for the events uh, on click event of the button and when um, it's listened for the event it's going to come to callback method and it's going to access to the text field take the um, text and um, display access to the text view and display the text as a welcome message if you run this one if you run this one, okay, to this and it's the same for the future launch. Okay, and if you put meter A, click press me, you see welcome meter A um, to anyone can code Android tutorial. Okay, and in the next part, I'm going to show you how to do this one using um, simple uh, or using designer way to um, wire the. Um, Excellent listener. Okay. To continue from um previous part as I um, already explained, so you already um created the excellent listener. Okay, you already created the excellent listener here. 
you created the action listener voice by the way. Here, new object of the on click listener. Okay, and you set it on the um, on click listener, register it on the event which is on click of the button. So you register it with the button. So when we click on the button, it's gonna raise an event which is on click, on click, on click. And this one could listen to it and it's going to do something which is perform an action or call to, e, to, to a callback method. And that callback method is on click and to perform this job. Okay, so you already uh, run this one. If you put, let's say, uh, meter um, B and press me, you also welcome meter B so anyone can code. Anyone can code um, and write it into the so this one is and one can go. Then there is another mechanism to um, to do this one, to do the whole thing like this. Okay, there is another mechanism to do the whole thing like this. It's, it's simple, simpler mechanism. So um, we are going to um, let's say comment this. Okay, we are going to uh, delete this. So just delete the, what we did in previous video. Okay. Delete this. So this seems like we don't need to create the um, action listener, but then we're going to create a method public. Okay, void um, um, on button on button press me click. Okay, on button press me click view view. This one is a view that we click on. I want to paste the code that we created before. I want to paste the code that we created before, which is accessing the edit text, get the name, so on and so forth. So this method is a method that you would like to be performed, okay? When the button is clicked, okay? So actually, uh, you have just coded this method, okay? So now you would like to um, wire it. You would like to wire it to the on-click events of the button. So this one is going to generate the um, action listen automatically. Okay, and wire it to the button for us automatically. Okay, so we don't have to create the action listener manually anymore. So right now, how to um, wire it to the on click event of the button? We're going to get back to the activity, uh, and next time uh, from next time, we're going to just do this approach. So we'll get back to this activity. Click on the button, and you click on component tree, and you'll uh, go to the properties, and you'll see on click. Okay on click events and you click on this one then you click on this drop down you'll see you can choose that button here choose a button here okay then if you run this application now if you run this application now it's going to generate the action listener and it's going to perform it's going to um, register with the button automatically so if you raise an event it's going to be both listen and do something too okay according to our method too so you have this one, let's say if you type meter A, okay, and if you click on press me, it's gonna do the same job then. So that one is another way for you to create the method and wire it to the events of the press me button. Okay. And about the events, um, um and um, um we're gonna have something which is events um events um events um consuming uh, that I'm gonna show you in, in the next lecture. Uh, sorry, in the next video.